Hey guys, so today I had an awe moment. My awe moment was I had on this shirt, I put it on, left the house, nothing, thinking nothing about it, went to Tom Hop, and what do I see? I see myself two years ago in this freaking shirt, and I was like, I need to take a picture. So I took a picture of myself after I worked out, just like I did in that picture, of course, you don't see any sweat because two year, about two years ago, I really wasn't sweating. I couldn't figure out why my body wouldn't hardly sweat. Um, then today, I'm looking at the picture. I'm sweating, and the shirt is like a dress now. And mentally, it was like, ah, oh, the shirt is too big. And you would think that because I wore this shirt last week. I wear, I wear, I do my shirts in rotation. Um, I always don't pay attention to my shirts because I always wear a hoodie when I work out. But it was just like an awe moment. You know, I always know I still, I'm always going to be a work in progress because it's always room for me to get better. But today I was like, okay, Tamara, you're going to, because I just spring, I just called myself spring clean in my closet and got rid of all the clothes that are like too big. I tried on clothes and I tried on this shirt too. And I was like, oh, it still fits. And I kept it. So I'm just now, I'm, my mind is like, now what else did you keep? that you should have got rid of, you know? <laughs> because obviously I got rid, rid of a lot of things that I knew was too big. So what about the stuff that are like this shirt? And I will show you a picture after this video of me in the shirt and you're gonna be like, you should have known better. It reminds me of the time that I had these scrub pants and they were extra large, well, Anytime near my scrubs, even at 3X, my scrubs ended up around my ankles when I was bending over trying to help a patient. That was very embarrassing. Um, but the recent one was my extra large. I have worn these extra larges and I did not know that my extra large was too big. In my mind, I just figured I would always be extra large because, you know, people tell you, oh, your hips are wide. And I know my hips are wide. And, you know, you're tall, extra large, you know, you, you meet people, I met people and they were in size medium, large, and I'm like, well, I'm not that, I'm not going to be that size, you know. Well, the extra large day, you know, you got to squat over the woman's toilet because I don't use, sit down on public restrooms. And I peed all over my pants because they were too freaking big. I don't know. It was a bad experience that night, but... My friend dressed Robin just started laughing. She was like, you know you need to get rid of those pants. So I got rid of those pants. And now here I am. I'm going to have to get rid of the shirt. I mean, the mind is so tricky like that. You look at yourself in the mirror because you see yourself every day in this journey. And oftentimes you don't see how small you have gotten. And I always wonder if my, my mind was so steered towards that if i would have went ahead and got that surgery how would my mind i always think what if you know like what if i would have got the surgery how would my mind because i would have probably got rid of the weight very drastically at a earlier pace than now because now this is almost my this will be four years come may for me in my journey ups and downs whatever plateaus whatever you want to say all through that it would be four years that I decided to take my life back and I'm still going through the process of mental seeing myself a certain kind of way and it's kind of rough sometimes but I just wanted to tell you guys see even though you don't see it yourself in the mirror and that's why it's always good to have a support group or a support system that can actually tell you the truth that won't tell you what you want to hear but tell you what you need to hear like yes you are changing blah 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 it's always good to have that kind of support because sometimes we are our own worst critic, and some obviously sometimes even when we're not trying to criticize ourselves, we look in the mirror and we don't see what other people see. So I just want to offer you guys some encouragement to keep the faith and focus on how you feel, um, not necessarily how you look, but you do want to have balance. I mean, I would like to know if I'm wearing something that looks like a daggum dress instead of a shirt, you know, obviously. So I'm still a work in progress. Peace and love, guys. See, the mind is so tricky. When I left the house, I thought I could fix this. Then I'm thinking to myself, why do I still have this shirt? I mean, seriously, some things you need to let go. Just like letting go of people. Why do I still have this shirt? I do not. Okay, so as you can clearly see, I mean, two years, it made a difference. I didn't realize the difference that it made, but 
obviously I should not have this shirt anymore. So I am going to get rid of this shirt and I'm going to go back through my closet and make sure I don't have anything else lurking around that I really should not have. Anyways, thank you for watching. Peace of love, guys.